Alright there guys, Dan here from VI Gateway and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Windows 8 on your iPad. Now I'm not going to show you how you can install it on the iPad because you can't do that but I'm going to show you a series of applications you can get to run Windows 8 on another computer but control it on your iPad because Windows 8 does work well on a touchscreen device. So the first software you want to look at getting is free. All of the software I'm going to show you in this video is free to get. If you want to run it as a virtual machine I'm going to show you what software you need. And I'm going to show you what software you need to install on the iPad and on Windows to be able to do this. And also why I'm here I'm going to mention that all the software we're going to use is cross-platform. So the first bit of software we need is on iOS and it's this here, it's TeamViewer. Scroll on the App Store, search TeamViewer. It's free and they've just made it Windows 8 compatible and you no longer have to use your finger to control a cursor your fingers now a direct touch input so it'll work very nicely and I believe it even supports gestures now so that's the only bit of software you need to worry about getting on the actual iPad itself so now over to the computer software first of all you need to download two bits of cross-platform software and these will work on both Windows and Mac and are both free to download. If you're going to run Windows as a virtual machine you need to get VirtualBox. Very simple, just search VirtualBox and then it will be the first link which is Oracle VM VirtualBox. And from here, this website here, you can download the VirtualBox for Windows or Mac, and from there you can install Windows as a virtual machine. Or if you've already got a Windows machine, you can just go ahead and download the next bit of software. Now, this next bit of software is Team Viewer. Just simply search Team Viewer. And it is the uh, top link on Google here, uh, teamviewer.com. And you can also download this for Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as iOS. And it is now Windows 8 compatible. If you haven't yet installed Windows and wish to do it as a virtual machine, then just simply open up VirtualBox and press New and then follow through the guide to install your Windows 8. Make sure you have the Windows 8 disk, the installation disk with you, and follow the guide through to set up Windows. If you already have a Windows PC, then you can skip this step. Once installed, or once opening Windows, go into your Internet Explorer, and then navigate to teamviewer.com. Once on teamviewer.com, go to the download page and download the TeamViewer full version for Windows. This is free. You want to run the application and then install it by following the installation. It may ask you for administrative access, if so, just go ahead and grant this. It will then load up the installation and it should be fairly quick to get through. We're going to be using it for non-personal use in my case. If you're using it for any other reason, then tick the appropriate tick box and then press next. I accept the license agreement and I accept that I'm only going to use it for my own private use. It asks me if I want to later remote access control the computer I'm installing TeamViewer on. At the moment, I don't want to do that. So now it's going to go ahead and install TeamViewer for us. Once installed, you'll see TeamViewer will open up and it will give you an ID and a password. You need to make notes of these and we will now go over to the iPad and set it up over there. 
Okay, so now we've got everything set up on the Windows side of things. We now need to keep an eye of our ID and password we have on TeamViewer on Windows 8. And we need to go ahead and open up our TeamViewer application on our iPad. And as soon as this starts up, we need to then input the ID. So mine is as follows. 232-524-220. Then I'm just going to press the return key. And it says, please enter the password that is displayed on the partner computer. Uh, so I'm just going to input a password. And press OK. So now it will come up with touch interactions. It will show us how we click, how we tap, hold, and right click, things like that. And it will ask if I want to show you instructions. Oh, I don't, so I'm just going to hit continue. And now what we can do is we can now actually control our computer with our finger. Wherever we touch is where the cursor will move. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at what we can do with this. Okay, so now we have a version of Windows 8 running on our tablet. And we can use gestures on our iPad uh, to scroll around. Uh, to move our mouse, to click on applications like Internet Explorer and things like that. So that is how you set up Windows 8 on an iPad to be able to let you control it on your iPad. Um, I'll put all the links to the software you need down in the description of the software I used. I hope this helped you. Don't forget to like VI Gateway on Facebook, follow VI Gateway on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll catch you guys soon.